This is where we're spending the night and there has been a lot of activity reported up in this area. Bullets, lock, belt buckles, or the coins. He picked up a figure right here. <gasps> Bullet! Oh, oh my, my god. god! Holy sh! What the heck was that? I thought I just heard something behind me. tuning into Amy's Crypt tonight. We are back at the very haunted Old Spot Hotel. If you guys haven't done so already, please go make sure that you have watched the part one video that we have done for this one. But tonight we are continuing our paranormal investigation and we have a lot of goodies, a lot of trigger objects like bullets, coins, locks, and we have all sorts of stuff. So stay tuned. The Old Spot Hotel is an iconic pub in the northern suburbs of Adelaide. It has been around since the 1840s and accumulated a lot of ghost stories to go along with its rich history. After learning that staff and some patrons feel unnerved and strange emotions in the upstairs accommodation of the hotel, I decided to book in and spend the night. Many have claimed to feel as though they are being watched in these rooms, heard footsteps behind them, and some have even failed to spend an entire night here. Is the Old Spot Hotel truly haunted? Let's investigate. Crypt Keepers, are you ready to look inside my haunted hotel room? We are staying in room number two, which is excellent because that's actually my lucky number. <laughs> so, come on in. This room, honestly, it doesn't come with red lights. So if you come and stay here, don't expect that. This is something that we just brought along with us to add to the atmosphere. But yeah, it's like a typical hotel room. So come on in. It's pretty spacious, it's pretty cool. We have moved some stuff around because we filmed an intro and some B-roll in here earlier. This is our like trigger object table is all set up with the, the bullets, lock, belt buckles, or the coins, and our brandy. She's a fine girl. I don't know, this place is really, really cool. I love staying in these like old pub style places. And usually a lot of the time they do have old furniture as well, which I dig. And I don't know, I don't know if this is like original, it does look old, but the one cool thing that I found, <laughs> you guys will never guess what is in this drawer. <laughs> Actually, I hope this doesn't let anyone down, but it's Mary Kay and Ashley like, I don't know what that is, wrapping paper? <laughs> I just thought that was cute. And that is, I mean, that's quite old these days, right? <laughs> so very fitting to the old spot. But I think that, I mean, we've already made ourselves comfortable. I think now, you know, is really the time to reach out. So we've already done a lot of investigating. So check out part one because we've kind of investigated other areas that aren't our room. But this is where we're spending the night and there has been a lot of activity reported up in this area. So I'm super, super keen just to like reach out in here. And I don't know if Oscar hangs out up here. That would be so cool if we can reach out and communicate with him tonight. So get ready, guys. That's a mighty fine monkey you have there, Jared. Hello, Daunt Horizons, represent. Not sponsored. Not sponsored, hashtag. <laughs> Go check them out, guys. Follow them here on YouTube. They're my favorites. So one of the first things that I want to do is I've already just set up some of our trigger objects here in the corner and I've, I haven't really used this too much. I've got a plasma ball here and I guess the thought is if someone's interested and they touch it, you can clearly see when this thing is being touched. So if we get any weird like lightning bolts like this, it could be, <laughs> could be of interest, you know. Then I've also got a couple of things. So I've got the uh, K2 meter set up, um, lined with all our old coins here. I've got more coins, a bullet, um, this is a belt buckle and a, a lock. Along with the brandy, I just left the brandy open. I don't know if I should pour in a glass or something. I figured 
I don't know how spirits drink. <laughs> how spirits drink spirits? Spirits drink spirits. I don't know. So I've left this all here. Now, if there is anybody in this room with us, we have bought you some gifts tonight, especially if Oscar is around or anybody at all. Now, a lot of these gifts are from your time and maybe you can recognize them. That's amazing. They're yours. If you can come and grab them and collect them, they're yours to keep. Anything else here that you're interested in, it can't hurt you, so don't be scared of it. Maybe you want to touch this thing. It's really fun. Maybe you want to touch these clear balls. If you do, that will light up. Maybe you're interested in these coins here. If you come towards this green light, more lights might actually light up. So I'm going to just hit record on here. Okay, so that's recording now. And we're just kind of going to leave this area for a bit and just leave it being monitored because I feel like if I'm totally hanging over it, like no spirits are going to want to come in around and play with that stuff. So we're just going to kind of leave that for a bit. Um, I'm also filming, I can't remember if I mentioned in UV light, that's a different light spectrum. So when we go lights out, this will all still kind of be visible, but in a different light spectrum to what we normally film. Normally we use infrared to kind of see in the dark. So I think that we're going to go over the other side of the room and just start reaching out and we'll leave this little section here monitored. All right, guys. So I've just taken up position on the bed here. And this is kind of where I want to start uh, reaching out to any spirits that may be here. So if anyone is listening, please don't be afraid to try to communicate us, uh, communicate with us. Um, so Jared is in the same room. He's just off camera because he is watching all of the stuff that we have rigged up in the corner. So he's just monitoring that and he's going to let me know if anything weird kind of happens, uh, which is cool, but we are uh, filming it as well for you, for you guys to watch. Now I'm going to run my ghost tube app. If you guys don't know yet, this is an app that Jared and I developed ourselves. And for that reason, we actually trust it. And we've used it a lot on investigations and it has given us very interesting and very, very cool responses. I've actually just hit record now. So you guys are going to see some readings come along the bottom of the screen. So we're measuring the sound spectrum in the room. So hopefully we can capture EVPs. Uh, we also have an electro electromagnetic uh, monitor that is the green bar. People believe that ghosts can actually manipulate that. That is tied to something else on this app, which is we call the ghost dictionary, which could produce words and it will produce words if certain uh, environmental fluctuations are reached. Now, the reason I wanted to start this on the bed is interestingly earlier in the night, Jara and I were messing around and we were messing around with our other app known as GhostTube SLS. I'm gonna show you guys a clip, but basically he picked up a figure right here. It's getting someone laying on the bed. What bed? This bed. The bed we're going to be sleeping on tonight. <laughs> For real? Yeah. Is it still there? Or is it just... It's still magic? there. You can have that side, Jared. <laughs> you want me to sleep on that side? Yeah. So I think that the clip is interesting, but who knows, maybe he was possibly uh, mapping the pattern on the bed or something. Either way, who knows, like, you know, I said that can be Jared's side and I'll sleep on this side in case there's a little ghosty there. But my name is Amy and I'm here with Jared. We're spending the night in this room and we sincerely hope that that is okay with you. But if there any is anybody here and you want to communicate with us or make your presence known, please don't be shy. Maybe you can step forward step towards this bed. If you can come here towards the lights in front of me, that's one way that you can let me know that you are here. Again, I have bought you some things and set them up in the corner of the room also. So if you are interested in any of them at all, they're here for you. Please, again, don't hesitate to in head over there. Okay, so Ghost Tube just said in front of you. Yes, all of those things in the corner of the room are exactly, precisely in front of me. Are you interested in them or do you recognise any of those?
I bought you brandy to drink. I hope that's okay, or is there something else that you would prefer? Do you recognize the coins that I bought you? I have pennies and I also have a half a penny. If there is someone in this room or anywhere in the Old Spot Hotel, can you make a noise somewhere in this room or just do something to let me know that you are around and that you are here? Why are you here? I thought I just heard something behind me. Can you make a really loud noise for me? Can you tap on something or knock something? Alright guys, so I'm sitting on the bed, Jared's over here and he's filming on GrossTube SLS and he wanted to film again because one of the things that we want to do with the app is film multiple times in the same area. So if you're say mapping a body every single time that you film the bed in the same position, it is probably a false positive. If you pick up a body once out of 10 times that you're filming the bed, that is a lot more interesting to me. So Jared's filming on SLS, goes to SLS right now. Yep, same angle that I was filming at earlier and it's only picking up you, it's not picking up anything on the bed where it was filming before, so. <laughs> that is interesting, but I don't know, maybe we've moved the creases of the bed or um, I think we had my light on here, didn't we? Oh yeah, we did, I can turn the light back on. No, 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 like the actual physical no, light. No, I, I moved the light off and it was still there. Oh. I don't know. All I can say is like, yeah, maybe I've scrunched up the bed a bit. That probably looks really weird, huh? Yeah, it was, it <laughs> this is such a weird angle, sorry guys. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't explain why it would pick it up and then not pick it up. It does make it more interesting, but again, like, I don't know, maybe we need to film it again and it you know, different angles or something. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, Crib Keepers, so we're in a different part of the room and I've got a bunch of my like trigger objects here and I figure I'll, I'll try and reach out here and uh, actually use my spirit box and see if, you know, we can get anything sort of going. So maybe we'll go lights out for this as well. So can you get that um, light, Jared? The K2 just went off. Oh, really? Yeah. I don't know. Is there somebody here with me? Are you thirsty? Do you want a drink? I'll leave that light there. Okay. I can pour you a glass of brandy. If you want one, just come towards this green light again. If you can do that again for me, I'll pull you a glass. I don't know if you prefer to drink out of the bottle. I'm gonna start up a device which can be quite loud, but please 
Is that? What was that? Quite loud, but please. Quite loud, but please. Quite loud, but please. Can I turn the camera? Yeah. <laughs> what the heck was that? There's nothing in that corner. This is so weird. Uh, yeah. It sounds like maybe the air conditioner, but I've turned it off. Just there. It's, or I thought it would sound like the blinds mm. above the AC. Yeah, maybe. Can you make that noise again, please? Hi, my name is Amy and I'm here with Jared. Is there anybody in this room with me? Or in the hotel? GM. GM? I think I heard GM. But maybe like Jim. GM. 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 Can you tell me your name? Can you tell me what I'm holding in my hand? I like don't. Tom. What is a tong? What is this? Is the old spot hotel haunted? Can you tell me what this is? <gasps> Bullet! Oh, oh my, my god. god! Holy sh! <gasps> yes, this is a bullet. I can't believe that. That's. That's. Holy sh! Chills down my spine. No. Thank you. Can you tell me what this is? No. It's a penny. I bought them here for you. I'm so excited that you just said that that was a bullet. Are you able to tell me your name? Are you able to tell me why you're here at the Old Spot Hotel? I think the K2 just went off. Yeah, I see that. I think. Are you after the brandy? Jared, can you pass me a glass? Yeah. Can you see? <laughs> Can you tell me what you usually drink? I actually can't really see. Yeah, you got it. This is for you. <laughs> <laughs> Smells great. <laughs> Huh. I'm leaving it here near this uh, green light. You can come towards that green light. 
I'll leave it out all night for you. There's somebody up here in these rooms who people claim to have heard the footsteps of. Do you make those footsteps? I feel like I heard just stop. So I've just made this noisy device stop. I don't know if that's something that you wanted me to, or maybe I misheard. If you're happy with that, are you able to come towards that green light for me one more time? If you can make it light up other, other colors, that will really show me that you're happy that I've turned this off. I know not everybody likes the noise of it. Maybe you can move something on this table for me. Thank you. Ooh. Thank you so much. Isn't that? I can't believe that that said bullet. Yeah, that was really clear as well. That was, yeah. And because of our tough gun laws in Australia, I hardly doubt the radio was talking about bullets and guns. Well, you never know, but I mean, that's so coincidental to come through that clear when I'm holding a bullet. It's, you know, the actual casing and the actual bullet as well. That particular, or is it this one? I don't know much about guns. I don't think this is live, by the way. Whatever that means. <laughs> but yeah, you guys, some of you guys watching might know more about bullets and stuff than I do. But this has been found in the area. It could be very old, you know, but... I'm guessing it is actually very old because as you said yeah we have pretty tough gun laws for people to just be like shooting around this is a pretty built up area as well you know what i'm saying all right creep keepers so tonight it has been pretty fun hey mm, that's <laughs> i actually love this spot and if you guys are in adelaide or south australia i highly recommend just stopping by have a drink have something to eat maybe even stay here and definitely ask the staff who are all super super lovely and friendly about the ghosts i'm sure they'd be happy to like share some of the stories with you guys too but i feel like we actually caught some cool evidence yeah so you got I think uh, the bullet and the, the spirit um, box spirit saying box bullet session. to me in the room yeah, that was, was really crazy. Cool. That and was we cool. also got some uh, action on the K2. Yep. If you guys haven't done so already, make sure you're watching part one because in part one, uh, we also investigated the front bar, which was like one of the most active places. And we got some weird stuff picked up on a bar stool, like a chair down there. So I don't know. I'm really, really excited to review my footage overall for both of the, mm -hmm. the parts mm -hmm. of this investigation and just see if we kind of picked up on anything. I think tonight when we go to bed, we're about to. It's like early hours of the morning now, guys. Uh, I reckon I'm going to rig a camera just to like watch us. I know it's always creepy doing that, but like watch us sleep and see if anything <laughs> kind of gets picked up. But I think that tonight has been really really good so far right yeah yeah i think we also got some stuff in sls and at first we thought it might just be false positive but then the capitals were going off so i really like that as well that we were able to use more than one yeah device so mm. yeah it's been really good but i think let's get ready for bed and yeah i'm so tired he's so tired he's it's because we had to wait for parts of the bar to close so we could film it's like 3 a.m or something or 2 a.m something like that yeah. yeah it's really yeah. It's, it's bad. Really <laughs> bad. So. All right, well, we'll see you in a bit. See ya.
right, Crip Keepers, we made it through the night. Even Jared. <laughs> so we're just packing up now to like get going. Um, I don't remember anything really uh, cool happening in the night, if that makes sense, uh, paranormal wise. I feel like I was so out of it. We were so freaking tired. I do feel like I woke up once from a noise, but we did fall asleep with the heater on and I did turn the fridge back on um, because we had done, we were like done investigating. So maybe it was a fridge noise that woke me up. I don't know. Maybe I dreamt it all. How about you? No, I slept until like 7.30 a.m., 8 a.m. Yeah. So we got a few hours, but I mean, I still have all this footage to review. So you'll see if we do pick anything up. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to like, comment, share and subscribe. You can do more reading on the old spot or any of the other haunted locations I visited from around the world over on amyscrypt.com. You guys can follow me at amyscrypt on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. And I've got bonus content that I am posting on my Patreon and YouTube members, which I am linking below. But thank you so much for watching Crypt Keepers. Until next time.